Buck, you're a veteran. You've been through this process before, long off season. You're finally ready for a game. What do you enjoy most about this week as you finally get to, to have those games back? Yeah, um, it's it's always a fun time of the year for sure. Um, you know, it's it's a time where you get to show off all the work you've been putting in. And so I think that's, you know, the the greatest thing that and the most important thing that we're all looking forward to is, is showing what, what we can do with, with the work that we put in this offseason. So. What's the key – in a season opener because there's rust other guys have talked about that you know you don't necessarily know what the other team's going to do so there's a lot of variables that come into place so what's the key to being successful in game one right you know we just got to control what we can control and and execute the way that we we know we we can and the way that we should and so i think that's that's the big goal going into this game mitch go ahead Clark, it often gets brought up how the USF game in 2019 was Jaron's first start. It was also your first start as well, yeah. if memory serves me right. Yeah. Uh, what are you, where, where has, how, from that loss in Tampa, how has the program evolved and maybe your personal development in that time? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, we're, we're different from, from, you know, when we were down there the first time, uh, we've we've grown a lot as players, as as a team, and and we've we've improved a lot, and and so we're just excited to go back down there and and show what we can do. Is there extra pressure on you and the rest of the offensive line to to live up to kind of all the preseason accolades you guys are receiving? For sure, yeah. Um, you know, we we know that those. Those preseason accolades and things are, are nothing unless we, we leave, live up to those standards, and so that, that, that's what we're shooting for. Jay and then Jared. Hey, Clark, what are the challenges of playing a game in the Eastern time zone, two time zones away from Utah? Um, I don't know. It's it, it's different everywhere you go, and, and – uh, you know, time change, weather change, um, you know, whatever it may be. But um, our staff and, and us as players and, and coaches, we do a good job at uh, preparing ourselves so that we're ready for, for those changes. So I know you guys are staying two nights in a hotel rather than just one. Um, I assume your roommate's your brother. Is that accurate? Or? Uh, that's what it was last year, so I'm pretty sure that's what it will be this year. <clears throat> How's that sit with you? Uh, it's good. We we shared a room all growing up, and so it's just like we're we're back back at it again. So thanks, Clark. Clark, this team has established itself as with that physical. You know, hey, we want to be a physical team. We want to be able to push people around. How important is it to to kind of set that tone this week? Yeah, for sure. Um, it's it's super important. We need to set that tone, you know, uh, at at the first snap, and so you know that that that's what we pride ourselves on, and and that's what we hope to to do going in game one. Let me just as a follow up to that. How much yeah. fun is it when you're able to do that as an offensive line, particularly, and just able to to impose your will on the game? Like, yeah, you guys did a lot of that last year. Yeah, right. It, it's it's way fun. Uh, you know that's that's the goal goal of the game, and so when you're able to achieve that, um, you know you you know you're you're having fun and, and scoring points and and doing well. So awesome! Thanks so much, Clark. Thank you.